Hey guys, welcome to day 26 of Vlogmas. <clears throat> I did not vlog any on Christmas Eve or Christmas. Well, I actually did record some stuff, but I don't think I got enough for an actual vlog. Um, it was just crazy, crazy busy. Um, two days, the 24th is my birthday. And um, we had a lot going on that day just with our own little family traditions and getting the last bits of Christmassy things kind of together. And then the 25th was a crazy busy day. Um, we do Christmas with the boys in the morning. Then my parents come over for lunch and we have a little Christmas meal and we do gifts with them. And then that evening we go to Dean's parents, which is right across the road from where we live. And we do Christmas with his family. So that day is a really busy day and so i did not vlog either of those days but we had a very merry christmas um it was a really nice christmas considering all that has happened and gone on this year um anyway i hope you guys had a merry christmas wherever you were and whoever you were with i hope you had a merry christmas um so it's the day after christmas and i am doing some post Christmas shopping because lots of sales are going on. So I just left Big Lots. I didn't record it all in there and I should have done that, but I didn't. It seems like the shelves were quite bare, but I got a ton of stuff. I probably spent like $250. Don't tell my husband, <laughs> but, um, the, all of the Christmas stuff was like 50% off. I got all, all new wrapping paper and, um, like little labels, like tags for next year, which I'll show you. I'll do like, um, when I get home, I'll do like a haul and I'll show you everything that I got. Um, I got a ton of Christmas decor that they still had that I thought would look nice in our house. Um, I'm getting ready to run in here to Walmart. I want to look and see, oh, at Big Lots, I actually got like three little like stocking stuffer things. So I'm actually going to look at Walmart and see if they've discounted any of their little fun stocking stuffer things that I can go ahead and start collecting for gifts this year, whether it's like someone's birthday or um, stockings for the boys next year or just whatever. You know, I just kind of think like when they're on sale, I can go ahead and buy stuff and then I'll be a little bit ahead next Christmas when I am trying to figure out what gifts I'm giving everybody um, or for like a birthday in the middle of the year or whatever, just something fun. Um, let me think. Oh, I need to grab um, a Lego kit if they have one for Isaiah. And the reason I'm doing that is because Isaiah, if you guys have watched any of my videos, my Vlogmas videos and the Christmas decorating video, you'll know that Isaiah's big gift this year was an Australian Shepherd puppy and all the things that go along with that. Now, that is a lot of a responsibility when a puppy is little because you're doing all of the potty training and just command training and things like that. And he got the gift and all of the stuff that goes along with it. Um, he got that early. So, on Christmas, he got a game. But, you know, games, like, you could play them once, twice, but you just don't play them over and over and over. Um, and then he got some other things from his grandparents that required, they weren't like, I guess, quick play put together kind of things. They were like, one was like light strips that glow and do all kinds of cool colors in your room. And then another thing was, um, oh, a robo Roblox coding kind of thing on the computer. And that, that requires you sitting down and watching videos and thinking. And it's not like a quick fun thing. So he was having a very good attitude about everything. He wasn't disappointed. He was excited. But all of his brothers got these Lego kits and they're all building their Lego kits and little games and things that they were kind of playing with. Um, and so Dean and I thought, oh, we didn't think that through very well that all of his stuff wasn't like I don't know. It was fun, but I don't know if you guys get what I'm saying. I just feel like he, we probably should have gotten him another something to open on Christmas morning, even though we got him the dog and all that goes along with that, just so we had something that he could like put together or do right then and there. Anyway, because we didn't think about that and he is having a very good attitude and he's not said anything grumpy or ungrateful sounding. <laughs> Dean and I, uh, thought we would grab him like some sort of fun Lego kit um, today. So I'm going to run into Walmart. Fingers crossed they have Legos left. Um, <laughs> I think they do. And I'm going to pick him out a kit, check out any little stocking stuffer or gift things that maybe are on sale that I can go ahead and buy. And then I'm going to head to another store. Um, I need to buy a coat today because Dean burnt my coat. Like literally, he burnt the coat. <laughs> um, 
he actually, it was not his fault. He got it too close to a propane heater. I had moved it on a different side of a chair away from the propane heater and he moved the chair and didn't pay attention that the coat was hanging on it and it got too close and it like, it got too close and it melted my coat, like melted the outside of it. So I have no coat. Thankfully it's a warm day today. I'm going to head to Kohl's and maybe the mall, like to Belk or something. Um, anyway, and just look and see if I can find a coat. Hmm, I feel like I'm good on Christmassy bits, but I mean, if I see something that's on sale that's a really good price, then I may buy it. Just to keep stocking up. Our house is so much bigger than our last house, and it's like, I put out all of my Christmas bits this year, and it really only filled like our front two, three rooms. Like, we didn't get any Christmassy things in the boys' room or our bedroom, just because I didn't, ha I mean, I used all of my stuff from our other little house. This house is so much bigger. I need, I would like to have more things. Um, I don't need them. I would like to have them. Um, so yeah, after the holidays when the decor is on sale, that's the best time to stock up on that sort of thing and save some money and get some really beautiful pieces to put in the house for years to come. All of my Christmas stuff has lasted me forever. I mean, like such a long time. I don't feel like it's a waste of money because I use it year after year after year. We take good care of it. Anyway. I'm going to quit talking to you, and I'm going to get inside and see what I can find, and then um, when I get home, I'll show you all of my goods that I got today. Hey guys, so I just left Kohl's, and I'm on my way to the mall because I did not find a coat at Kohl's. I mean, I did. I found two coats that I liked, but they did not have the size that I wanted. I mean, they had the size, they had a size, but it felt a little too snug. So I thought I'll go up a size. Um, and then they didn't have that in the style that I wanted. So, and it wasn't really like a coat that repl would replace the coat that got melted. Um, it was just like two other, I found two other styles of coats that I liked. Anyway, I'm just going to go to the mall. Um, I know that Belk is having a sale and I'm going to go see if I can find a coat there. I was able to pick up Dean some new workout shoes, like some tennis shoes, um, because his he's had for a couple of years and they have had it. Um, yeah, like they're, they're falling apart. <laughs> he, um, said he almost tripped running on the treadmill the last time he was working out because the sole is like coming off of the shoe part <laughs> and it got caught. And I was like, we've got to get you some new shoes. Like that would be dangerous, dangerous to run with your shoe messed up. Anyway, so I had some Kohl's cash, so I bought him a pair of shoes and um, used my Kohl's cash for that. So we'll see how these hold up, like how long they last. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of bummed I didn't get a coat. I'm hoping I can find something here at Belk or Penny's or um, one of the stores in the mall. And let me think what else I need to do to get over driving and talking at the same time. Um, oh, the weather is crazy. The weather is crazy. It ha the roads have been horrible the last two nights. We got a big snow, um, and today a lot of it has melted, but there's a ton of it piled up on the side of the road, and there are cars off the interstate right and left where they pulled over the past couple of nights. Um, yeah, so I would like to start heading home before it gets dark because I don't want it to get too cold and all the water on the road start freezing and me driving home because I am a horrible driver in cold, like snowy, icy weather. Like I'm, I'm just really bad. Like I wrecked, but every time that I've wrecked my car, it's been in the snow. And so I have this like anxiety about driving in the snow. Like I, I literally drive like an old granny, like really slow. My blinker's on, like, sorry people. <laughs> I can't even pull over for you because I'll get stuck in the snow on the side of the road. It's bad. So Dean usually drives and I feel peaceful and calm, <laughs> but it, the roads are not even that bad right now. It's just if it gets dark and all of the water that has melted from the snow on the sides of the road freezes, I'm going to be really stressed. <laughs> so I'm trying to get my shopping done so I can get my rear home before it gets bad or cold. It's been like freezing or below for the past couple of nights. We've had the dog our dog, Rosie, she normally stays outside. She has, um, I don't know if I've mentioned this before, she has like a heating pad that goes on her really cushiony bed. And she has this really thick, like Sherpa blanket that she loves that we put on her. And she does not want to come inside. She loves being outside. She lays on our front porch. I'm sure you've seen her there in other videos. 
and she likes to see who's coming up the driveway. Like she, she's just, she's very protective. She's super sweet, but she's very protective. So she barks at anybody who comes up the driveway and she really does not like to stay inside the house. But the past couple of nights, it has been so cold that Dean and I were concerned that even with her pet heating pad, even on high and her blanket over her, we normally only keep her heating pad on low with her blankie on her. Um, like during the day we put her back out cause she's super happy to go out there. But, um, I thought even at night, if I turn the heating pad up on high and her blankie were over her, it's just so cold. I don't trust it. I don't trust it at all. So, um, Oliver, our black indoor outdoor cat, he's been staying in, um, and Rosie has been staying in at night. So this weather has just been crazy. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna run TJ Maxx real quick, see if there's anything I can't live without. Probably, I probably live without this stuff, but you know, you never know. I'm going over speed bumps everywhere. And then I'm gonna head to the mall and see if I can find a coat. I wonder, maybe I can find a coat here on TJ Maxx. Hmm. I don't think about that. Okay, okay. There's a parking spot opening up right here on the front. Thank you, friend, I will take your spot. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Oh, never mind. It's handicapped. Psh, I should have known, but hey, there's one right next to it. I'll take that one then. Okay. Um, I'm trying to decide if I'm going to get home in time for dinner. Dean's eating all the Christmas leftovers with the boys. It's probably gone. I may have to go stop and eat something. Anyway, let me run in here real quick. Okay, so I am headed home. I did not have any luck today finding a coat. Sorry for all the weird lighting out of the city and onto the interstate and the lights are going to be really strange for a minute. Um, so yeah, I didn't find, I didn't find a coat. I'm either too picky <laughs> or something, I don't know, or all of the coats that are like what I would wear are gone. People bought them all. Anyway, um, I may look online or I may just try like a, going out again some other day to a different area and see what I can find. Um, yeah, so it's kind of dark as you can tell and I would really like to be home now, but I am got all my stuff. Yeah, I think I did pretty well today for shopping, getting Isaiah his little gift, getting me some shoes, getting all my Christmas decor and wrapping stuff for next year. Um, my can opener broke and I got a can opener today and then I got a fun little thing, which I'll show you guys later when I do my little haul thing when I get home. Um, but a fun little thing for the girls and I when we get together sometimes sometime hopefully soon. Anyway, I'll show you guys all of the stuff that I got in just a little while. shopping and I thought I would share with you some of the things that I got so first of all I thought I would share some like little gifts that I picked up for next year or for like birthdays throughout the year or little special occasions so the first thing that I got was from Walmart it was um, this Harry Potter advent calendar this is something that I thought about getting the boys this year and I looked them up on eBay and I think on Amazon too and they were like 50 bucks each the Lego advent calendars they were super like I just didn't expect that that was a little bit more expensive than I would normally pay for like such a little kit for like a Lego kit but it is an advent calendar and maybe that's a normal price I don't know if you know let me know because <laughs> I thought that this would be fun because every day they just open one of the doors and they get a little bag out and it's like a little Lego piece that they kind of build and put together and it creates this scene from Harry Potter the Yule Ball but Judah would love this next year and so maybe if these kinds of advent calendars are on sale right now after Christmas. I can get three more for the boys next year and we can do this sort of thing for Advent instead of our big list of activities next year. Since we kind of did that this year, um, I would like to change it up next year. So I was happy to find that for 20 bucks at Walmart because like I said, it was like 40 or 50 online. Um, let me think what else I got from Walmart. Um, what did I get? I also, I got this little scalp massager. Have you guys ever tried one of these? They are so good. They're so nice. I don't know if I'm going to give this as a gift or if I'm going to keep it for myself, but it's like all of these little like metal prongs and then you hold this 
wooden piece and then this these metal prongs you just kind of push them over your head like all around your head and it like massages your scalp it feels so good it's it's crazy my mother-in-law had one of those years ago and we loved it i remember when dean's sisters were really small we would just sit in the chair in the kitchen and they would just massage our heads with this thing and oh it was so relaxing it put you to sleep um anyway so i bought that i don't know if i'll keep that or if i'll give it as a gift to somebody who would like it i really only know my sister's in-law and my mother-in-law and myself that likes that but maybe somebody else will like that i don't know we'll see or i'll just keep it for myself um I think if I got anything else from Walmart. I mean, I don't think I got anything else like a gift wise at Walmart. I did pick up some new dish towels. These, I usually use straight white dish towels so that I can bleach them and clean them when they get really dirty, but sometimes that doesn't really help all that much. But anyway, so this time I got some blue ones because I kind of have like a blue navy sort of thing going on in my house. And then I got some of these um, flower sack towels. These are what I use to dry my dishes and clean off countertops like after they're after they've been cleaned I'll dry my countertops with these I love these they're super absorbent they're just the greatest thing ever and I did stop by the clearance aisle at Walmart and I got some like Burt's Bees face cleanser for seven dollars I don't know if you guys can see that and then here's some body lotion and it was five dollars then I got some of this lavender Jason bath wash I actually thought this this was lotion when I picked it up it was seven dollars for this huge thing so That'll be, that'll be fine. We'll use that. Um, those things are quite pricey online. Um, so I was glad to get those discounted. I also found three bottles of the Everyone Soap. This is lavender and aloe. These were $7 each. And when I ordered these online, they're more expensive too, but I can't remember. This is what I give the boys. They wash their hair and their body with this sort of stuff. So they don't mind lavender smells. Sorry, I'm, I've got all my bags on the bed and the tripods on the bed, so the camera's shaking when I move stuff. Anyway, um, they do not mind the lavender-ish smell. Um, the one that I had last was like coconut and lime, and then I had like lemongrass and something the last time, but if they don't use it, I'll use it, or we'll use it for hand soap, um, and I'm assuming that they'll use it. It should be totally fine. So, I think that was everything I got at Walmart. Um, I did stop by TJ Maxx and I got a can opener because my can opener broke, but I also got this cool thing that I want to show you guys. Um, it's called Girls Night In. You see that? And on the back, there are six different categories of cards and you get 50 cards in each of the categories and you just kind of like go through them. Uh, you can shuffle them all and randomly draw them. So like if you're having your girlfriend's over for like a little dinner and get together. So I'm gonna read a couple of these to you so you know what they say. So this category is called online offline and it says read out the last text message you received. So that could be funny, it could be embarrassing, it could be like nothing. So anyway, that was a cool one. And then there's an 80s and 2000s, or I guess 80s and uh, whatever. Um, and it's a question, it says which band had a hit with Barbie Girl? And then you had to name the band that had that song. Um, and then here's another one called Biggest Brain. And it says, which fashion designer developed the new look in 1947? And then you have to answer that if you're smart and you can answer these. And then there's another one called Spread the Secret. That's another category. And it says, riddle me a riddle that will make me giggle. So you have to come up with a riddle. And then there's a category called Would You Rather. Would you rather be invisible for a day or able to fly for a day? And then the last category is truth or dare. And then this example says truth. What candy bar do you think best reflects your personality? And dare, holding a hairbrush with your feet, brush the hair of the player across from you. Oh. So anyway, this could be fun. So I think in January or February, I would like to have my girlfriends over for a little get together, a little dinner, just a girls night in. Um, and maybe we'll do that maybe after a glass or two of wine. <laughs> anyway, who knows, but that looked like fun and I thought that would be interesting and just kind of like a fun thing for us to kind of do together. Um, okay, so let me get to all of this um, big lot stuff. Ooh, sorry, I'm moving boxes and bags. Um, one of the things that I got were a couple little gifts and I'm gonna put these in like a plastic tote and just kind of keep somewhere whenever I need a gift, whether it's like a birthday gift or whatever for the kids or maybe like, um, well, no other people. I guess I didn't just get kiddo, kiddo gifts. I'll go and see if I have anything in there and if not, I'll go buy something. So I got these two little blasters. They're not Nerf brand, but 
these um, little darts stick to stuff. And like my boys, they, they love this sort of thing because they break them and then, you know, you can get some other ones cheaper. This was like five bucks at Big Lots. And then I got this little table tennis game. It was $5. I think the boys would really like this in like a stocking stuffer next year because they could set it up on the kitchen table and play or like our homeschool table whenever our homeschool room's done. I think that would be fun. And then I did find this little mini, it's a tiny little um, um, essential oil diffuser and it comes with a little bottle of lemon, but I think this with a couple of nice um, Synergy blends from some of my favorite essential oil companies could be really nice. This says it was 16, but I don't think I paid 16 for it. It was um, on sale. I think every, I think most of this stuff was 50% off. Um, all their little kits, like their little, like all the Christmas decor was 50% off. I think I said that earlier. And then a lot of the little gift sets were 50% off too and discounted. Okay. Um, I do think that's it for those little things. Let me check this bag. So the last thing that I want to show you before I get to the Christmas bits are these huge bottles of Himalayan salt. So I always use Himalayan salt when I cook and I buy it from Big Lots because Big Lots sells, you know, massive containers. This is five pounds worth of salt and it was four dollars. So, and I bought different brands of their salt and it's always been super tasty. Like the, I think the dates are on here. Anyway. Um, they've always been like I've been happy with them. I don't think that there's anything like shady that I should be worried about If there is let me know But I think that this is cool. So I bought a couple of these because I just opened up my last bag I bought bags last time of salt and filled up my salt container in the kitchen And I knew that I needed to stop at Big Lots and grab some of these and I also grabbed some LaCroix because I buy my LaCroix soda things there um, or they're like soda waters. Anyway, I get those at Big Lots too because they're a really good deal and they have lots of flavors. So I'm gonna stick that in the floor. Um, okay, for the Christmas bits. I bought this, it was $10, so it's actually $5 because it was 10 normally. And it says, good tidings of comfort and joy. And then you can put things inside of here or you could just use it to store stuff in. Um, but I love having like decorative little just little knickknacks around, you know, can sit it in the window or on a table somewhere and put some fun stuff in there. So that was one of the things that I bought. Like I said, that was only five dollars, just half off. And I did buy a new red bin to put all this extra Christmas stuff in because whenever I go like sell shopping, like after the holiday, and I buy a lot of stuff, I know I'm not gonna have room for it in the bins that I currently have, so I have to buy a new one. This is super cute. This was on sale for ten dollars and it's a little polar bear and his um some of the paint from his nose is coming off but i'll just take a sharpie and fill that in but he's holding the snowflake and he's got glitter on him and his ice skates and he's just sitting on the ground it's kind of cute if you can see that <laughs> so that would be cute on a table as well Put that down there oh this was really cute this was from proy hill homes um, yeah, and it says, I don't know if you guys can see that, it says Merry Christmas, I'm not sure if you can see it, but it was $14, that's what I paid for that, but I thought that was really pretty, I think that would look really nice on our fireplace mantle next year when it's done, yeah, so that's why I got that, or it could go on a table as well, or you could just kind of sit it on the floor somewhere, that would be good too, all right. Let me get all this stuff. I've got to move everywhere. Okay, this, I kind of went with like this gold and navy theme, which I don't have a whole lot of. So I really loved all of the gold and navy. So this was about $10 because it's regularly $20 and it's just a big foam present with um, almost like a velvet navy. Ah, dropping it. Um, and gold sequins and gold kind of stuff all over the front. But I like that it's got all of the conifer and pine cones and the berries and all of that and it held it pretty well most of the glitter I think all of the glitter is still in there so I thought this would be pretty to set on the floor by the tree or by a door or something and I also got this um, decorative bow that looks very similar to it so I'll hang this somewhere too I'm not sure where yet all of this will go some of this stuff I'm gonna go put out because we still have all of our Christmas stuff up I actually do not normally take any of my Christmas stuff down until um, New Year's, but I think this year I'm going to leave it up all through Epiphany. 
um, and still kind of have our little holiday vibes going on. Um, we'll see. We'll see how I we'll see how I feel about that. But that's my plan. I'm thinking that I'll do that. Okay, let me see. I also got some little towels. This one says Merry Christmas. These can go in the bathroom, deck the halls. Um, our our house colors are kind of like um like blues and greens and yellows, and we do have certain rooms that I have accents where um, like a like a um, terracotta or orange or salmon kind of color pops here and there for certain things like in my I have my rug and my sitting room has that so anyway I liked the blue and the green because it went with our house colors and I tried to not do too many reds because I'm not a big like red and green Christmas person although I do have Christmas decor already out that's kind of red and green and like your snowmen are red but just the stuff that I bought tonight I really loved those deeper colors um, this was cute. Actually, I'll show you this in a second because I have to show you the wrapping paper first. Um, yeah, let me pull all this stuff out. I also got the boys. So, I think I mentioned this earlier that all of the Christmas stuff that we had filled our other house because our other house was small when we lived up on the mountain. But here in this house, it's much bigger and it didn't, the Christmas bits that I have did not spread far enough, in my opinion. So, because we didn't get anything in the boys' room this last year, I thought I would buy these little gel clings for them. So this one, I hope you guys can see that. We can move away just a little bit, let it snow. This one has penguins. This one has Santa. This one has a snowman. And then this is a big one. This is Happy Holidays. And I thought this would be fun for the boys next year to decorate their bedroom windows with these things and kind of bring some fun holiday stuff into their rooms. They, we did give them colored lights to put up in their rooms this year. Um, so they did have some festive stuff, but this would be fun too. So they were $1.50 already. So I think I paid 75 cents for the little ones and then like $1.25 for that big happy holidays one. So that would be fun for the boys next year. Um, now, let me scooch that over. <clears throat> okay. So more navy and gold things, if I can get it out. Oh, so these are cute little trees. I don't know if you guys can see it. Gold bottom, little gold baubles and gold glitter. And the tree is navy. And I thought this would be pretty on maybe, maybe, on either side of our mantle next year. So we have two, but I kind of like things asymmetrical, so I don't know that I'll put them both on the mantle. but. It does kind of go with the other, you know, navy thing stuff that I bought. So I got two of these. So one here, and then another one here. And let me see, these were seven dollars each on sale for seven bucks. Don't fall. And then I got these things, which I thought were really pretty. They kind of match the um, color of the towels that I got. So they're glitter trees, and they're filled with baubles. They do have red, but it's not like a bright red. It's like a deep. Christmassy red, but I think they're so cute. And these, let's see, I've got two little ones. They were six dollars each. So you can see, two little ones. And then I got one big one. And it was, let me see, it was seven dollars. So you know, these will be set in a group, kind of offset somewhere, like maybe on a table or a centerpiece somewhere or something like that. But um they are super glittery, you know, so you do get glitter everywhere, but I'm hoping. If I set them somewhere where like the boys don't mess with them, then the glitter will stay on and it won't be like all over us or all over the house. And that's the, that's the idea. So another thing I picked up for Christmas at Big Lots going with my Navy theme is this pillow and it says, let's get this party cracking. That's a nutcracker, so it's kind of cute. Um, this I'll probably just set out on one of our chairs around Christmas time. They had a bunch of pillows, but this was, I don't know, some of them I just thought, they didn't look like the style that I have in my house, and so I wanted that one because that one did look like a style. So speaking of pillows, I actually bought new pillows for um, our family room. These match like the colors in that room. That room is like a cream and green, but then our chairs and couch have like this reddish, brownish kind of hue to them. So anyway, I thought these short pillows would look good in the two chairs, the two like just um, sitting chairs, and then I got this uh, two of these bigger pillows for the couch. Um, so they all sort of match, same colors, different little style. But um, yeah, so I think I'll put these on either end of the couch and then I'll put these little pillows in the chairs. 
Um, and then I will show you guys, you know, what that looks like later on in another video when I get all that put up. Okay, so that's all the Christmas decor stuff that I got. It wasn't, I mean, it wasn't a ton. I think it's a good little bit to add to what I already have and to fill the house up a little bit more. Um, but then I also got a ton of wrapping paper. Um, so what I did is this is the Winter Wonderlane um, brand. And the, all the wrapping paper that I got is like, it's like this icy blue or this mint green, silvery kind of color. So this one, it's just stripes. This one has Santa's on it. This one has some sort of little geometric pattern. I'm not sure if there's a name to that pattern or not. If you know, let me know in the comments because I don't know. This one says fa la 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 all the way around it. And then, let's see, I got one with polar bears, like little polar bears with little scarves on. <laughs> so anyway, I got, these were, let's see, these were $3.50 each. So I got them for $1.75 each and let's see I got four eight nine of them so that should be plenty for wrapping gifts next year and I also got this um, set of gift tags like sticker gift tags I don't know if you can see that because the light in my room is really bright but it matches all of this wrapping paper so next year all of our wrapping paper will be the same and I thought that this was cute because it can work for kids or adults and that way I don't have to have like a ton of paper whereas like where I have enough for adults and then I have enough for the boys to make their gifts fun. You know, I was trying to like pay attention to them this year as they opened gifts and I didn't even think they cared. Like I don't even think they paid attention to the wrapping paper. Um, and then lastly, I got these little Christmas cards. They're just like little, um, they're almost like greeting cards. Um, and they have that same blue and green kind of theme. Let's see, how much were these? Oh, $5, but I think I got them 50% off, so $2.50. And I thought that this would be really nice. Um, you can see on the back the different designs. Just to write people little thoughtful notes. Um, this would probably not be the kind of Christmas cards we would send out to a bunch of people, but just like write special people little cards, little notes at Christmas and give them to them. And I really liked this color and the style of these cards. They've got some glitter on them. They're very festive and holiday-ish without being like overly red and green and whatever. So anyway... That, I think, is all the bits that I got from Walmart, Big Lots, all the places that I went today. Um, so, I am going to take all of the Christmas wrapping paper and cards, and I'm going to put them in my little wrapping paper thing. Or, I don't think I'll have room in that thing. I'm going to have to, like, put this somewhere else. Because that thing's already full, and I don't have room for this stuff. And then I'm going to go put all my Christmas bits out in the house somewhere. I've got to find a hiding place for these little gifts that um, I'll give the boys later and put all of the soap and the lotion and the face cleanser and all that stuff that I got on sale in the bathroom somewhere. Um, yeah, so I feel like it was a pretty successful day as far as getting a lot of stuff on sale, stocking up for next year um, or you know little things that we need throughout the year. I will probably go after Christmas shopping again one more time. Um, Probably sometime in January, I would like to go. We have like a we have an Ollie's. If uh, you probably know what Ollie's is, if you've been, if you have one in your area, but we have one in our area, and it's kind of like whatever I guess Walmart doesn't end up wanting or whatever they don't sell or they overstocked on, they ship these. Uh, maybe their warehouses do it. Like whatever's left at the warehouse before they get new shipments in for the next season, they send all of that stuff to Ollie's. I'm not sure what you call that kind of store, like just a discount, it's almost like a big box store discount kind of thing, I don't know, but anyway, um, I am going to go there and see what they have um, and try to get some stuff. The last time that I went to an Ollie's, I actually didn't realize we had one here and we were out of town and I was seriously trying to convince Dean to rent me a small U-Haul so I could fill it full of all the good stuff that I found there and bring it back home, seriously, like I was like, this, I, look, look at all the money we're gonna save at this store. <laughs> It was crazy. And then my sister-in-laws were like, uh, Megan, you know, we've got one like just down the road. And I was like, what? It's not down the road for me. It's down the road from my other sister's in-law. And I was like, well, I didn't know this. Why didn't you guys tell me this? I've been missing out all of this time. Anyway, it's probably good that I didn't know about it because I probably spent too much money there. Um, and I actually haven't been since I found out about it. I totally forgot about it at Christmas. And Dean and I were like, oh, we're going to go to Ollie's. We're going to go there. We're going to shop and get, you know, little things. And then we both he, maybe he intentionally didn't mention it to me, but I forgot all about it. 
anyway, okay, I'm rambling now, so, um, thank you guys for hanging out with me today, going shopping with me, and sticking with me this long in the video, and seeing all the good stuff I got, I hope you guys have had a really nice Saturday, um, again, I hope you had a Merry Christmas, and whether you're celebrating like after Christmas sales or Boxing Day sales or wherever you are, whatever sales are going on after Christmas, I hope you were successful today. And I will talk to you in a video next week.